In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly customize a few things in the Inkscape interface. Now, these are changes that I've made that better suit the way that I work, so maybe these will work for you as well. What I uh, have done from the default install is I've changed the snapping toolbar location. By default, it's on the right-hand side. I'm going to show you how to move it up to the top. I'm also going to show you how to hide or remove the commands toolbar up here, and also how to remove the scroll bars. Now, I don't use this bars or the commands toolbar simply because I perform most of those actions with keyboard shortcuts or mouse clicks. So I'm going to show you how to go into preferences and change it so that your mouse wheel when you scroll in and out it will zoom in and out of the canvas and also so when you press the space bar on the keyboard and then move the mouse it will allow you to uh, sort of pan around the screen. So here's an example of that pressing the space bar and moving the mouse. You can see I can pan around my canvas. Now you can also use the middle mouse button I believe by default in Inkscape, if you click that, that will perform the same thing. It allows you to pan around the canvas. Very quick, helpful way to easily navigate around. Um, so here's an example of zooming out. So scrolling the, the mouse wheel down and zooming in, scrolling the mouse wheel up. So I'm going to show you where the preferences are for that in just a second. The first thing we want to do is change the snapping tool bar location. To do that, we go up to the view menu and just simply go down to the bottom where it says custom. And there we go. The snapping toolbar is now up along the top. Now to remove the commands toolbar and the scroll bars, again we go to the view menu, we go to show hide, and one at a time we uncheck the commands bar, view menu again, show hide, and uncheck scroll bars. And there we are. We have a little bit more screen real estate now, which I find to be quite helpful, even just that little amount. So now to change the mouse wheel scroll or the mouse scroll wheel um, preferences, we go to the edit menu down at the very bottom preferences. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift P, and in a second the preferences dialog box is going to pop up. And to find the scrolling behavior, it's uh, it's under behavior, under scrolling. And we just check mouse wheel zooms by default and also check off the mouse pans when space is pressed. And that's uh, to allow you to pan around the canvas when you press the space bar on the keyboard. So with those checked, you're going to be able to zoom in and zoom out with the mouse wheel and press the space bar and move your mouse and pan around the screen. Uh, just a few quick customizations that you can make uh, and hopefully it will improve your workflow. And I hopefully you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.